friends, in today's video we are going to talk about central heating systems. A central heating system is a system like this that uses diesel to heat all the house. Around the house I have heaters. This works pretty simple. It's burns the diesel, it heats the water, the water circulates around the house and heat up the house. It's that easy as that. But let's take a look inside to the system the heater is turned on right now here we have a button to shoot down the heater or to run and here we can control the temperature of the water in the running system and here we can watch that temperature normally i set up to 60 degrees i think it's the most efficient it depends also in the heaters you have installed in the house i have aluminium heaters these are not very good at low temperatures but if you have iron cast heaters you can set this temperature much lower like 40 something degrees okay let's open the central heater and let's see what we have inside we have the combustion chamber here where the diesel is being burned we have a fan here to get the air inside for the combustion we can adjust the quantity of air that is getting inside the chamber by turning this allen screw this allen screw open more or closes the air intake we have the reset button here if there is some problem maybe you don't have fuel something after you recharge you press the button for the heater to start we have a water pump here this water pump is to move the water around your house the hot water that is going to heat up your house diesel came inside from here and goes directly to the diesel pump that get the diesel inside the chamber we have some electric wiring here mainly to control the temperature to start the burner this is the burner the most important is the inside temperature control in my case i'm using this device that allows me to control the temperature with my mobile phone there is a thermometer inside this house connected to this switch that is connected to the heater and when the temperature is under the set point the switch here tells to the heater that has to provide warm water you have two set points the set point for the interior temperature of the house and the water temperature set point. When you start the heater system, the thermostat checks the interior temperature. And if the interior temperature is below the set point temperature, it sends a signal to the boiler to get hot water inside the house. When the boiler receives the signal from the thermostat, it starts the flame and the water pump. The boiler will heat up the water inside the circuit until it gets to the set point temperature. When the water temperature reach the set point, the flame in the boiler is stopped, but the pump is still working until the interior temperature is above the set point. When the interior temperature is above the set point, the thermostat said to the boiler to stop sending water and the boiler stopped the water pump. Exhausted gases are released from the back of the heater to the exterior. There is not any catalyst or something like that. This contaminates more than a car because, you know, there is no catalyzer. I don't understand. We have to keep a pressure between two bars to the heating system, the hot water system inside the house we have. We can put more water into the system with this. So now the pressure is over two bars. Now I'm going to take out the burner and I'm going to show you how I adjust the flame. Okay, we are going to remove the burner by turning this screw here. Look 
look at the flame. The really important thing that you have to find when you are adjusting with the air intake is that the smoke that came from the burner is has no color. If it's brown or if it's white, this means that the combustion of the diesel is not being doing properly. So you have to adjust the air intake. I put back the burner and seen that it still works. So this is nice. This is one of the aluminium heaters that I have at home. You can adjust the temperature of this particular heater by turning the valve. This way you control the flow that goes through this heater. If you want to do maintenance, painting or repairing or changing this heater, you can close the valve and also the screw that is in the bottom of the heater. At the beginning of the season we have to make sure that there is no air inside the water circuit. To do so we set the water pressure to two bars and then we go to all the heaters in the circuit to park them as I show you in the video. And when we had released all the air from the water circuit we set again the water circuit pressure to two bars. This is my thermostat, it's a Wi-Fi thermostat. I will make a video about this thermostat. It's the Baxi Rocket thermostat. And now we can see that the current temperature is 15 degrees and the set point is 18 degrees. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video Thank you for watching, see you in next video.